Well, it's another day and we've got a howling gale periodically. It's gone colder again. <laughs> yeah, having had a taste of spring. Uh, anyway, this um, chunk here, I'm trying an experiment and it remains to be seen whether my camming buttons are going to do the job. It's pretty solid at the moment. <clears throat> and the first thing I want to do is to mill the slot across and then when I do the side I'll clamp it uh, conventionally but I've just only just got clearance above the buttons to get the uh, coax on there so I'm just trying to, I've almost got it set up just so that I'm on centre and uh, mainly for the uh, milling operation there I'm just trying to get it finalised And that's pretty good. I'll go with that. Unfortunately I've still only got uh, my half inch roughing mill. I'm hoping to get a three quarter at some point. So I'll have to take uh, probably take three passes. And again it's not super critical. Although I want the one inch bar to fit fairly well. So we'll see how we go. Get set up for that. Well, I set up for depth and uh, we're running at about 750, 760. So what I'm hoping to do is to take uh, two, well, I don't know, two passes and a centre tidy up. I'm not sure yet. I may make it three cuts. And I'm taking a three-eighth cut and that's why I've put these extra clamps on because it's not that I don't trust the uh, cam buttons but with the size of the workpiece being a bit small the uh, locking set screws are a bit hidden so it's been difficult to take it up quite to the max pressure I'd normally go for so this is insurance, that's all <laughs> so we'll see how we go, I'm still getting used to this machine to be honest taking things a bit careful might be obvious uh, chip clearance with that depth of cut is a problem particularly on a uh, running through with no uh, free edge I took a more or less dry cut too actually Trying to concentrate on the uh, feed rather than oiling all the time. Didn't seem to get too hot, all things considered. So we'll set up for a second cut. Well, I'm going to take a half cut, I think, and then the finishing uh, to the full diameter. Be a bit less stress on the cutter. All right, the last cut. I'm still going to let it go dry, I think it seems to be coping all right. I can't keep the feed steady and uh, manage the oiling, not on this one. And the chips go everywhere. I'm not sure my dial indicator didn't move just a smidgen, but I'm going to check for fit when I've taken this pass anyway.
clean up the chips and see where we are. Well, that's, <coughs> that's the cutting done, hopefully. There's the piece of bar. Let's see how we're going. That's probably uh, two or three thou, which is about what I'd hoped for. I may have added a thou unwittingly, but uh, I think that'll work. Now I've got to work out to machine the on one side so I can get some set screws in. If you listen hard, you might hear the damn wind. <laughs> I said earlier, it's blowing gale. Uh, anyway. Here we go, setting up is the pain in the butt, isn't it? it? Takes longer than cutting the damn material. Anyway, I've got a couple of clamps on here and I'm set up to take a half diameter cutter cut. So we'll take a quarter inch off, another quarter, another quarter, and the Sharpie mark's very empirical. I'm reckoning to leave myself a fair bit of meat for uh, drilling and tapping but I couldn't find any set screws to suit, so uh, I'll have to pick some up tomorrow, probably. Right, that's the first cut. We'll take a couple more or so. Alright, just take a final cut here, only a hundred to that this time. It should leave me just slightly plus on a quarter. So we'll just feed in the, uh, the hundred. Not over critical, and, uh, and then take the cut. Uh, as far as I need to go on that, I think I can take that out now and hole drilling, tapping and stuff. I don't think there's any more milling to do on that, hopefully. All right, so here is what we might call the swivel base, I, su I suppose. And uh, that's the relief there for set screws, we have three, so we've got to drill and tap to get set screws to come across and then the bar that goes in the middle locked up and then somewhere probably, I don't know, it won't be 90 degrees, somewhere around here we'll have a hole for a cranked handle for uh, operating it so not quite sure where we'll go next. Maybe try and make a tool holder, etc. Just recording a fiddly little extra here. 
Uh, when I put the uh, long T nut into the compound and jacked it up, a little bit of slack that the set screws would take up, I found that the top was just coming proud of the compound slide uh, surfaces. It's only about five or six thou. Nuisance, really. Anyway, the only tool I could use, bearing in mind that I've had to get clearance, you see that, close to the jaw? I've got one more pass to make and then I'll take it out. Just a nuisance really, but I wanted to get the level either the same as the compound or a thou or two under. Okay, I'm uh, going to round off this part two. Uh, we're only dealing with the uh, swivel base, but I've got some drilling and tapping to do, which is not overly exciting. I'll probably make some progress on that um, and maybe video some of it. And then probably the biggest fun is going to be the tool post. Getting the height right and uh, oh, a few other odds and ends. And I suppose in the end, which may even be a part four, we'll actually see if the damn thing works. So anyway, for the time being, uh, thanks for watching.